Hey guys, Mark Rosetto here, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you 35 expert marketing ideas to stand out in an oversaturated market. You hear all the time, there's just so many photographers, there's so many people around taking photos, how am I gonna stand out? How are they gonna find me? How are they gonna choose me over someone else? Well, I can tell you now, when I was photographing with my studio in uh, Melbourne, we were photographing about 500 families per year. 200 of them were pregnancy newborn, and it was my job as the owner to make sure that our marketing is consistent and we get the bums on seats for myself and the photographers to photograph the people we need to build the business we want to have to make the money and to sell the wall art. So it's really, really important that you continuously continuously go to market and you are continuously being seen by your clients. They say you need to be seen seven times. Seven times you need to be seen. So if you just do one promotion and wonder why you're getting crickets, it's because I don't know you and trust you. You need to build rapport, you need to build trust, you need to build desire, you need to excite, delight, entertain and inspire your clients to come in and see you to be photographed by your company and your brand. So, 35 tips. Let's go. <laughs> you might want to write these ones down. Number one, the basic of basic referrals. Go out there and get referrals. Ask for the referral when the client is at their peak of their excitement is when they collect their artwork, not four weeks later or two weeks later, is when they see it for the first time. Ask for the referral. Two, thank you cards. Anniversaries. First birthday cards, there's some awesome companies like Send Out Cards and Cardly and a number of other companies that have um, cards with templates, you can drop it in and they will print it and post it for you and personalize the card at the same time, which is awesome. Calendar marketing, Christmas, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, um, and say like a Valentine's Day. There's lots of, of calendar of events throughout the year to market to your clients and make sure that you do, there's, there's five marketing campaigns before you've even done anything else, okay? Facebook strategies, make sure that you're being seen on Facebook, but with your Facebook po posting content, just be careful. Don't just go pretty picture, pretty picture, pretty picture, pretty picture. We know you take pretty pictures. It's sight, delight, and entertain your clients. Show behind the scenes, show picking up artwork, show finished products, show, um, get them talking about, do a poll on whether you prefer color or black and white. Just find ways to entertain your clients and get them interested about you and your photography business and the brand. So 80% is to excite, delight, and entertain, and 20% is the sales uh, message for Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, which is a buy now offer. Third party marketing or alliance kind of marketing. You buy a car, you get a gift voucher. You build a house, you get a gift voucher. You build a kitchen, you get a gift voucher. You buy, um, you've been to that hairdresser so many times, you're a VIP, so now you get a gift voucher. So align yourself with brands with the same price and, and kind of value and quality that you offer. Kinders, stools, fates and fairs as auction items. When you do an auction item, um, just 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 make sure it's not a raffle item. Raffles are a massive no-no. Your photography is worth a value. Make sure that you have a minimum spend. If it's a $500 gift voucher on the silent auction or the live auction item, it's at least you know $100 or something. People need to value your photography from the very start. Okay. Repeat clients. Are you retarget marketing your clients to be repeat clients so they come in and do it all over again when they have the next child or when they're growing up or when their family's in town or when it's a generation shoot? Make sure you're continuously marketing to your previous clients because it's easier to market to the clients that already know you and love you than continuously going out and finding new ones, okay? The other one is SEO, is your website seo Can you be found? A really fantastic platform is Yoast SEO. It's brilliant, look it up, WordPress users especially. Then you get on to like email series. Do you have an email series that your clients sign up, not for a newsletter, because no one's gonna subscribe to a newsletter, that they sign up for a, a, um, a guide like an ebook, and then they get put into your email sequence where you're constantly educating your clients on what you do. 
Um, expos, expos for portraits and also weddings. This is a great way to get a massive influx of clients into your business. They're expensive, so be careful, do it properly. VIP Facebook groups, they're good, but you have to really nurture them. They're fantastic for boudoir. Boudoir photography, I'd highly recommend that. Networking, get out and meet people. Go and shake some hands. Give away some business cards, you know. Get in the face of people, especially if you're doing personal branding. Join a BNI group. Join these networking groups. There's heaps around town. Wedding anniversary card, same as a thank you card. Schedule a wedding anniversary card one year after the wedding day. Why is that? Because the one year anniversary is paper. So why not send them a piece of paper in a card to say, to say um, happy anniversary? Okay, mini sessions. Christmas is very common, mini sessions. Why not do a pop-up booth mini session for Halloween? If you've got a home studio that opens up to your kind of driveway in your front yard, do a spooky a setup just for shits and giggles and fun and, and do it as a community and connection thing, not to make the money. They come in all dressed up, you take the photos, you put the photos up on Facebook and they like your page and take the photos and link themselves. Social media, be careful. When we talk about social media, make sure that you continuously have social media. Oh, like, no, what am I trying to say? Make sure that your, so, your social media is rented space. The other day, believe it or not, in uh, October 2018, however old this will be, Instagram crashed for a day. Oh my goodness, there was no Instagram for an entire day, okay? So if you have put all your eggs in someone else's space that you're not in control of, you can lose your business. Just like that. Alrighty, what else do we have? We have um, Street of the Week. Street of the Week is when you go to a street around your studio and give them a special offer on a special flyer. Headshots. When you do a headshot, is it about the headshot or getting um, business owners and directors into your studio space to then show them the family portraits that you take? Fridge magnet. When you book in a shoot, does it come with a nicely designed fridge magnet with your logo and your name and your and your photos with a note saying your experience is on October 2018 at this particular time and that's on your fridge and therefore whenever someone comes to your house, they your 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 fridge is a billboard for you. Um, your book projects, book projects are a fantastic way to do something over a long period of time, three months, six months. But if you are doing a book project, commit to it and finish the book. Educational videos, just like this one, do videos because this way you can connect with your clients and chat and say today and they get to know you and your personality. Talk about what to wear, what to bring, finished products, how to book in your shoot, different locations. Get on camera, people. Business to business relationships specifically for photographers. There was a photographer down the road from me which was literally 100 meters down the road, okay? But they did outdoor portraits and not studio. We did studio portraits, not outdoor. So we used to refer each other all the time. Email signature, your email signature, make sure it's hyperlinked that they can click on a phone number on Facebook and they can kind of contact you directly, not as a JPEG, because that drives me nuts, okay? Text message marketing. We all know that when you send an email, you might get 50% people opening and that'd be a really good day. But if you do text message marketing, you know that everyone will see your text uh, message. The Kate Smash. The Kate Smash is always fun. If you're a newborn photographer and you've got 100 newborns photographed per year, imagine if they just came in for a Kate Smash and you get to photograph them all over again. It's just a way to reconnect with your clients and it's offering a service that your clients would love to have because they've seen the Kate Smash photos in the studio when they came in for their newborn shoot, okay? Collaboration with other suppliers. So if you're gonna do a special offer for say like a Mother's Day, then speak to the beautician, speak to um, someone to get a haircut, um, the tanning salon, um, the dinner for two, buy a bottle of wine, create like the mother of all Mother's Day gifts and do that as a special offer for, for Mother's Day. Selling your gift vouchers. If you're at a pet store then and you do the, the dog photography, pet photography, put your gift voucher in the pet store. For them, it's a point of sale. It's like a collar, it's like a lead, it's like a doggy bed, it's like a doggy toy. It's just another product. Okay, a uniform. If you don't have a uniform, I'd recommend that you have a uniform. It doesn't mean you wear it every day. What you could do is have that kind of jacket or coat or something that you put on when you pick up the kids and drop them off at school, when you watch them play netball or, 
or uh, Socha. Your brand will be constantly be seen by those people around you. Same day slideshow for your wedding clients. Good way to stress yourself out, but there's nothing better than showing your wedding photos to your wedding clients on the night at the reception of their wedding day. It, it, it just blows their mind that you can turn around so quick and get such brilliant photography, but then guess what we're doing? We're marketing to the 200 other people in the room who have seen you run around all day, who know the couple that have been photographed, who've seen you as a photographer, and the amount of referrals I got from that was ridiculous. I love same day slideshow. Stress yourself out, but it was good fun. Soup Thursday, there's a client of mine that lived in a really cold part of the world and they were living in a, um, their studio was in, in a business like a, like a district with lots of businesses around them. They cooked up a pot of soup and every Thursday between 12 and 12.30 they invited the businesses ar around them for soup. And it was a great way to connect and build rapport with people. Christmas in September, put your Christmas tree up in September. Because what will happen is people go, mate, you're a bit keen, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah, I know. Christmas is only like three months away. And if you don't order your family portraits now, you won't get it in time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's also a great way in your design appointments throughout September and October and November to say, have you thought about gifts for mum and dad for Christmas? And they're like, well, no. I'm like, wouldn't it be nice to have one less thing to think about? How much is that little booklet or brochure or flyer or album. All right, photography awards. There's so many brilliant companies out there doing photography awards. Get yourself to an award standard because from a marketing point of view, it helps you stand out from the crowd. I'm a double master with the ARPP, the Australian Institute of Professional Photography, and I've won over probably 80 photography awards and that is in my marketing everywhere, okay? Create a meme with your photos. Well, we all have babies who pfft, do funny things and funny faces. Create a meme, have some fun with it, but make sure you ask the parents for permission first. Get certified. I'm in the AIPP. I believe in having an industry to back myself up. So if you if you can get certified, get certified with your governing kind of body. It just separates you from everybody else. If you're a, a pet photographer, Go out to your local pet store, buy a really nice stainless steel kind of dog bowls. Buy 10 of them, buy 20 of them. Get beautiful stickers and put your logo around the outside of the dog bowl and then take the dog bowls and give it to the cafes in your local area to put out with water for when clients come to them with their dogs. And all of a sudden, people see your dog bowls everywhere in your branding when they walk down the street, all right? can have some fun with this. Talking about having fun, this is the last one, number 35. Tattoos. <laughs> no, not real tattoos. I'm talking children's fake temporary tattoos. Every expo, every fate, every carnival, every fair, every time we were, we were around some sort of kid's environment, we would have little camera tattoos with a little logo on the inside of the lens, and we would put tattoos on the kids and the kids loved it because it's a tattoo. Now, if anyone's got kids out there, you will know that that tattoo will not be allowed to be washed off for at least a week. So you could say we were getting into kind of personal branding. <laughs> but don't get it? Personal branding tattoos? Oh, don't worry about it. There's a lot of information there, guys. So 35 tips. 35 tips on how to stand out from the crowd in an oversaturated market. The main part is go be seen. Make sure people can see you. Make sure you're visible as a brand. Like, remember that time when you got your website for the first time and, and you put it up and you're like, oh my gosh, it has to be perfect because everyone's gonna see it and you launch it and the phone rings and you're like, oh my gosh, the phone's ringing, the website's working and hey mum, yeah, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you love the website, mum. Thank you, thank you, I'm glad you support it. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> like, you need to be constantly being seen. There's 35 tips here on how to be seen, how to stand out in an oversaturated market. Go out there, go be seen, and go get some clients. Have a good day. See you, bye.